Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see whether it is possible to nest try except and finally blocks in exception handling, right? So without wasting time, let us go to the Python Visual Studio and you know, learn by programming that yes, try except and finally can be nested. So here we are going to see that yes, that nesting is possible and this nesting have certain cases, right? So first I will be going to discuss the case number one, right? Which says that if there is no exception, right? Then how this nesting actually works, right? So here what I'm going to do is first of all, I will be making a try block, right? And I'm going to add a print statement in it, which says outer try block right so this is just a simple statement remember in this case there will be no exceptions right so i will be just making use of simple print statements right and here there will be a nested try inside a try right so just uh, you know pay attention to the complete syntax this is a try inside a try block right and here I am going to use another print statement which is going to say that it is the inner try block, right? So it makes sense, inner try block. Now you can see that here is a little bit of zigzag underline, you know, below this try, which indicates that you cannot use try alone, right? So a try should always have either a finally associated to it or an except block associated to it. Right, so now I am in the inner try only and here I will be making an except block for this inner try and you can see as I write except the underlining you know below that inner try vanished away because alone try we cannot use. So we have to pair it with either an except block or with the finally block. Now that is something very important to know. Again there will be no exceptions to handle so I will be using only the print statement and it is the inner except block now that is something very easy to explain right and again here i will be making use of finally also because finally is actually optional but yet i just wanted to show and here i will be writing inner finally right so you can see that this is the complete trial, right? Try, accept, and finally. Now, coming back to the outer one, right? For the outer one, I'm again going to write an accept with a print statement, which is going to say very simple outer accept. And here. And then finally, the finally block, and which is going to say outer finally simple now you can see that I have over here used only the simple print statement and clearly there is no exception right so now let me just run this code and here you can see the outer try block get executed the inner try block get executed the inner finally and the outer finally get executed right now why because there was no exception right so we didn't go to the except block right neither on the outer except block nor on the inner except block because there was no exception right so all the try statements get executed and there was no exception so we didn't go to the except block and then all the finally blocks get printed right so if no exception raised then outer try inner try inner finally and outer finally blocks will get executed right so that was the first case number one right now what i'm going to do now is just comment it because i will be needing actually this code again but here i will be just try to copy and paste it now the next thing which we are going to see is the case number two now what does it says now the case number two is very important and easy to understand. Now what it says that if an exception is raised in an outer try. So what we get, we get an exception and where we get an exception, we get exception in the outer try. Right? 
now we get one exception right and the location of that exception is the outer one now who is going to handle it remember if the exception is in the outer block then the outer except block is going to handle it now which except block is going to handle it the outer one right so this is our case so this is our case number two now what i'm going to do is copy this complete code once again copy it and paste it over here now what all changes i'm going to do here in the outer try block there should be an exception now what is that exception i'm going to print let's say 10 divided by 0 now this is an exception which is going to raise zero exception error right anything divided by zero is not defined right so here i'm going to do this now see what i'm going to do is this is my inner except block right and here i'm writing zero division error right now i'm going to run this code and let us see what happens just clearing the screen everything is fine this is the exception which is in the outer block we can clearly see that the inner except block is the zero division error right and the outer exception block is just saying outer except right so the inner one is handling zero division error but let us see what happens so if i run this code you can see outer try block get executed right the outer except block gets executed and outer finally blocks get executed no working of this inner block now what happened sorry now what happened over here is here the exception occurs now this is the exception right and we all understand this as soon as this exception occurs the control comes over here we didn't go into the inner try block right because an exception occurs we need to handle it and now this exception occurs in the outer try block so what the syntax says now if this is the exception then this is going to handle it and if here there will be an exception then the inner block is going to handle it so it is just very simple to understand outer outer works together and inner inner works together right so even if the inner block is actually handling the zero division error but the exception was handled by the outer block right now let us come back to our case number three which is the same that if there is an exception in the inner block right in the inner try block then the inner except is going to handle it right now let us see what happens if i will be actually just again copying the same code right and pasting it here but i do not require this one so i need to comment it off right now what i need to do is i will be removing this exception from the outer except block and i will be putting it over here right now let us see what will be the change clearing the screen and run the code again you can see the output over here what it says the outer try block it didn't have any exception only the print statement so it get printed the inner try block with an exception inner except block and then directly the finally we didn't go to the outer except block right we didn't go over here right so when this exception occurs the control comes over here now this is the simplest case okay outer outer inner inner now there is something very important with the case number three it is very simple that inner inner goes together but suppose that there is no except block over here yes we have seen that try require either an except block along with it or a finally with it it is perfectly fine if we do not have any except block with try right but we need to pair it with finally right so now in this particular example you can see that the exception occurs in the inner block but there is no inner uh, you know exception uh, block to handle this error 
right so when uh, the case number three goes like this that if an exception is raised in the inner tribe log then inner except log is responsible to handle it that is very fine but if it is unable to handle right then the outer except block is going to handle it so you can see in the previous uh, you know uh, when i when i run it previously we didn't get the outer uh, except block right but if you run this all right the outer try is very fine the inner try is very fine and there is an exception and you can see that uh, the inner finally is uh, you know printed but it is handled by the outer except block so if the inner except block is not able to handle the exception then the outer block is going to actually uh, you know handle that exception right so what we seen in this video is that yes nesting is possible point number 1 point number 2 is that there are three cases when there is no exception only the try and the finally blocks get executed talking about case number 2 it is the outer outer combination if there is an exception in the outer block then the outer except is going to you know uh, handle it it is not vice versa right but in case number 3 if inner inner doesn't works then the outer except is going to handle it because obviously that particular exception is inside this try block only right so the outer one is also you know responsible for handling it but if the inner one is capable then inner is going to perform the task right and the next point that we have seen is that try cannot uh, you know survive alone in uh, you know syntax wise so we have to pair it with except block always but if there is no except block then we can pair it with finally but that is not recommended obviously and uh, else is the optional uh, block so uh, that was all with this video and i hope that you understood the nesting concept of uh, exception handling with try except and finally and uh, thanks for watching the video and for more such videos stay tuned to my channel thank you